Hi and welcome to another great tutorial about the new version of Xcode 6 and Swift, a new programming language announced by Apple at WWDC 2014. What we are going to do in this tutorial is pretty simple actually, but when you think about it um, from a way of, of developing experience, you will be amazed how cool these, these features that I'm going to show you are. Um, the demo app that we're going to create is really simple again. We have just, um, uh, we will just create this view here, um, which will be blurred with a new class um, introduced with iOS 8, the uh, UI blur effect class using a UI visual effect view. So let's get started um, by uh, creating a new single view application. I will, um, I will call it interface builder um, demo and let's use Swift as our la default language and say next and uh, create this uh, create this app. Um, and the first thing uh, we are going to do is actually creating a UI view and placing it in our storyboard. And the special new feature that I'm going to present to you now um, is the interactive um, the interactive code interface builder integration so that when we are writing code that you can see all changes directly within interface builder and to achieve this we will um, give this uh, view a little um, a little color so that we can um, determine it uh, where it actually is on our screen and what we have to do to make this to make this work um, to see the code changes within Interface Builder, we have to create a custom framework. And you can create a custom framework by clicking on your uh, on your project and add a new target with this plus button here. And we will then choose Framework and Library and we will create a Cocoa Touch framework. Um, I will just call this framework um, Custom Kit for this demo purpose. Um, and we will again use Swift as our language, say Finish. And now we have a custom kit, a custom framework um, that we can now use for um, for for our demo project. And we will then create in within this uh, within this group within this custom kit, we will then create a new um, a new Cocoa Touch class. Just hit Command N or File New File, um, and we will call this class um, demo view, which is a subclass of UI view actually. Again, we will use Swift as our language and say next and create. Now, again, and one, uh, one thing I missed to, um, to explain when you create a new file, make sure that, and just give it a quick name here, make sure that you select as target your newly created framework. So let me say cancel here. Okay. The most important thing to make this designable within Interface Builder so that you can see the changes uh, you write in code directly within Interface Builder is to declare this class or to adjust this class um, with IB designable. You should pronounce it. Uh, you should spell it right. Uh, designable. IB designable. Um, and this actually makes it possible uh, for us to see all changes we do encode directly here in Interface Builder. Now, let us um, choose this, uh, this UI view and give it just like in Objective C our custom class, which is called custom, uh, no, it's called demo view. Gives us the auto completion we know. Um, and now we can just start with our demo view Swift class and we can actually remove all the code and override the layout subview class. And let me now bring up the, um, the interface builder. And this is actually a cool new feature of Xcode 6 by pressing 
uh, the the uh, option key and the shift key on your keyboard and clicking for example on my storyboard I can then choose with the arrow keys where I want to open this file and this is really quick way uh, to achieve this and now I want uh, my interface builder on the right side so I just hit enter um, and get my interface builder here and now I want to create let's say a label so let's first call um, super Layout subviews. Uh, and now let's create a label. We'll just call it label. That's a label. And now we will give it a frame. UI label. Um, let's say CG rect make. Start at 20, uh, 25, 40 width, and 20 height. And let's give it a little. Let's give it a text. Let's just say hello. And now let's give it a text color. And let's say this is a UI color, green color. And now we will add this um, this label to our UI to our UI view. So let's say self add sub view label and now the magic happens and as you can see the label immediately appear, appears here right here in the interface builder and that's pretty cool stuff and as i promised we will create a um a blur effect within this um um within this label uh, within this ui view so let me show you how to how to achieve this we'll just need to um um, write in UI blur effect object first. So let's call this object blur, which will be of um, uh, UI blur effect class. And this is a UI blur effect, which we will initialize with the style. And you, you've got three different styles you can choose from. So UI blur effect style, and I will choose the, uh, the light version. You have also dark and uh, extra light version. And now we just have, actually I can, no, let me keep that that window open. Um, and now we can actually create our, um, our effect view, which is um, a UI visual effect view. And we will initialize it with our blur effect. All right. And all we have to do now is give it a frame. So let's um, just say effect view dot frame equals CG rect make. Um, and let's start it at zero, maybe uh, 30 so that we can see the blur effect. Um, 100, 100. And now let's add the effect view to our sub view and we will immediately again here in lighter color see where our where our effect view actually is and let me place it a little bit more to the bottom of this so let's say even 40 and then run our application And as you can see, you have achieved the blur effect. You can see immediate changes from your code in Interface Builder. And that's really amazing. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to comment below if you have questions or if you, want, uh, if you have an idea for another video.